Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is the Hammer Lecture and this is my first ever video on this channel. And what I decided to do as my first video is to show you what I like to collect as uh, a start for my channel because I have started this hobby collecting all these Marvel Legends figurines for the past one year which I think of course I know it's pretty late in the game but of course better late than never and I'm just going to show you all these figures over here maybe give you a little bit of some story on how I got them and why they mean a little bit more to me than other figures and yeah, I'm just going to show you what I have here because maybe down the line in the next few weeks to a few months, you may be asking like, why are you not reviewing DC Multiverse? Why are you not doing this, doing that? And why are you not doing like maybe other characters that you might want to see? And you know, this is just stuff that I have collected for a long time. I have... I had no real intention of doing this, but I decided, you know what, I just want to share my passion with you guys. I want to share my hobby with you guys because, you know, it's really fun, you know, collecting all this stuff, you know, as a as a guy that grew up in the 1990s and the early 2000s, you know, it was really fun getting all this Marvel Legends stuff. And, you know, when I got into one, I just got into, I just got hooked onto it all the way. And yes, so this is my first video. I'm going to show you what I have in my room. Okay, so just gonna give you a panorama view on how my room actually looks like. This is basically the table where I first started collecting all my Marvel Legends. And you know, it just grew so much that I had to put them in another corner, which we are gonna see in a little bit. So here we have like a small villain's corner, especially when it comes to a familiar superhero like Spider-Man. So these are the main ones that I have got to lose and I usually buy my figures in boxes because I really like that window boxes kind of feel. Sometimes I have a nice figure that I have found or maybe like a good deal I have found. So I just, you know, put them here because, you know, it's a bit of a shame if I don't get to show them. So as we can see from the back here, you have a rough idea on what I normally like to collect. I like a lot of Spider-Man. I know mean, these ones, these boxes here are like my prize gem. You know, if there was a flood or if there's anything, definitely, of course, you know, I save my, my fiance, I save my family on that, but definitely I'll get all these toys. And this is also a very, you know, obscure corner. This is one of my also underrated figures that I do have here. This is the Daredevil series. You know, uh, and he appeared in she help so I'm just super excited to check them out. I actually just got the three pack with Electra and Bullseye, which I'm going to share with you guys in a later video for my full review on this. But I'm also a, I wouldn't say a huge fan, but I definitely like Daredevil. I just like the chemistry he has uh, with Spider-Man. I like how he represents like so-called the Batman, the more realistic Batman in the Marvel Universe because, you know, Batman is just like, I mean, I know I'm wearing the cap, Batman, but so many times Batman and everybody's like, you know, he'll win, he'll win. But Daredevil is more grounded, you know, he's more realistic. I was like his, uh, the way he just treats uh, villains and all these uh, bad guys and how he runs things about, it's really interesting. And yes, you can see all here. I do have it all in my boxes, as you can see. So I'm just going to put it here. So like, just for example, most of these boxes here, the figures are still inside. I haven't really taken this out yet. And of course, one of my favorite figures that uh, I've gotten in recent weeks is the... Uh, it's not here, it's uh, outside. I probably have to get an uh, extra one in this game of verse because I really love the PS4 game. I actually bought a secondhand PS4 uh, a few years back just to play this game. Really awesome game. We have a lot more MCU stuff here. These are my buff collector. So surprisingly enough, I managed to get two of these torsos for the Super Scroll. So I managed to complete them because uh, if you guys know for this kind of stuff, they do give you two heads. They do give you uh, two sets of arms for each, you know, each side. So you just need to get an extra pair of legs and, you know, you can get two Super Scroll figures. And here we have the Craven, which I'm just super excited because this one is like super awesome because he has a greeting smile to it. And um, yeah, he has holding the gun and then Hobgoblin as well. Super rare and expensive figure to get. Uh, really hard to get as well. And of course, not to forget the Green Goblin. You cannot have a Spider-Man set without having a Green Goblin villain figure. Sorry, show you my double chin. And over the back there as well, we have the another Green Goblin figure, which I couldn't get the box yet. This one, I do have the retro card, which I haven't opened. Then we have the Sandman. I cannot get the buff wave, uh, the buff Sandman. Really expensive, about three to 400 ringgit. So it's about almost 
hundred USD just to get the bath part, which is, I think for me, I don't like to spend too much on that. And it's super hard to get each of the bath parts to complete it. And then we have this underrated Venom figure. We have the, as well, the Demo Goblin bath. Really awesome, good sculpting there. And this is one I got from overseas as well. This one, I, I, know, I know Captain America and Iron Man, not my favorite figures, but they came in a set with Spider-Man, you know, the first ever MCU Spider-Man appearance. So I had to get my hands on it. It looks really awesome, very simple. It does have the web lines, which is of course important. Then we have the normal Captain America with the head and also Iron Man. Hopefully there's nothing on the back here to surprise you guys. And also we have this, this Spider-Punk. I have a loose figure, I have two loose figures. Yeah, and I have one in the box here, really awesome. And just basically these are the stuff that, of course, uh, I will slowly review for this channel. And let's just switch it up and I'll show you another side behind me. Okay, so I had to just position myself here. Here is a small Fantastic Four corner. Uh, so far, this is the only buff that, I mean, the skull wave that we've gotten. And I put the Kang over here because I'm just too lazy to get the whole set. And if we move back down here, we have this... Uh, underrated set as well and what i like about this is the they do have the night crawler and sinister which looks really awesome inside there and this is the buff that looks really really awesome as well and i think this fantastic four would definitely go up in price once the first trailer for fantastic four comes out and uh we know we just let it be as it is and then also I have a small corner here for my Thor figures. The Love and Thunder is all the way at the back. But these are my favorite Thor figures that I do like. And I just gotten the Gore figure as well. The stiff on my left arm is a bit stiff. Let me know how yours is doing. If you go down to the bottom, we have a sort of a mixed thing here. Here's more like a, sorry, like a Black Panther set here. So we have this one which I couldn't get the buff, so I managed to get the figure which I think looks exactly like the buff um, over there. And we have Killmonger, two types of Killmonger. We have the Civil War Black Panther which I think looks the coolest. We have Shuri over there and nothing on the side there. As we can see, there's nothing next to Shuri on the left. And just to put there, I don't know where to put this figure, so I just got this one as well. Really awesome figure which I haven't opened. This is the Moon Knight series. Super awesome figure. And going here, we have a small House of X set. So I don't have all of it yet. I did order Moira, but I did complete the buff. I just uh, haven't got the Moira figure. So I'm showing you here. So these are the stuff that I have. And I had to get this step for Cuckoos. Maybe I had to get two more over here. And this is a small, again, small Venom corner, which I do have. Looking really awesome. And this set here brings a lot of memories because it was really, really, really hard to complete this set in modern times because the buff we can see on the table looks super, super awesome. So back to here, how I got this is, this one I got in Malaysia for 90 ringgit, the Carnage. So not so bad, about 20 bucks USD. And then uh, Fage, I had to buy it from Singapore for about 50 sing. And then Morbius, I had to buy it from the UK. I had to get my friend there to get it for me for about 25 pounds. This one here, super hard to get with the buff part. And this one went for about almost 200 ringgit, so about 50 USD, if I'm not mistaken, from Japan. And this one I had to buy the Gwenham Pool. I get the the Gwen uh, Venom, I had to get it from UK as well, from Hasbro UK for about normal, 24, 25 pounds and then Venom and I just had to complete this stupid junk movie but I definitely like the figure, looks really really awesome and going on to the top here we have an X-Men set, so as you can tell, I do like my Spider-Mans and I also do like my X-Men as well that's how basically I started uh, collecting comic books and all these things so definitely Age of Apocalypse very underrated wave. I do like this Colossus figure as well. Awesome, awesome figure. And this is basically how it looks like the whole set. I managed to get the whole set. Maybe I'll just complete the uh, first wave as well. And yeah, I just like this set a lot. And going on to another X-Men corner, which again, I think is underrated. So here we have uh, Magneto from the bottom there, from the Age of Apocalypse. Then, then behind, 
We have a bit more. I tried to complete this set. Funnily, I got all the buff parts for Juggernaut separately, but I managed to find all these other things uh, from another seller as well. I don't spend much, about 100 ringgit, so about 40, 50 USD. This is how I started Marvel Legends, and this is basically how I started collecting comic books because last time as a young kid, you know, you see Gambit on the front cover. Super awesome. I remember at that time it was like the X-Men series where he was blindfolded for a moment in time, right? So he had the, the cards right to his face, the stick and his stuff, and then he was like blindfolded. I was like, damn, this is cool. Buy the comic book, got hooked on it. And, you know, 10 years later, this is how I got into Marvel Legends. Basically saw this figure, super awesome. I didn't even know too much about Marvel Legends. I know they created toys because, you know, they want to make money. So bought this figure, got hooked into it, found out there's Spider-Man as well. Tons of Spider-Man, not just one, a lot of them. And that's how I started this uh, hobby here. You start with a lot of money, had to start this channel to get back some income. Oh no, I will <laughs> try to set back that up, which is a bit disappointing because Colossus, I thought he would be a heavy figure, but it doesn't work. All right, so now we're going out to my outdoor room. And this is also another collection. These basically are my collections that I definitely would want to keep. This is the full set here, which I got for the SPDR uh, Spider-Man. You know, this one super rare back in the day, about three months ago. Nowadays, it's pretty cheap. You can find one, which, uh, you know, pretty good and bad for depending on how you put it. So going on to the next part here, this is so-called the new wave set. This is basically where all the no windowless, uh, with no windows when it comes to packaging. You know, we used to have like this. Nowadays, it's all covered. But the box art looks pretty all right, not too bad. And I don't know where to put this, so I just put this uh, Electro on the sides. And this is basically where the SBDR is. And a uh, super awesome buff as well, really cool buff. And going on to this, this is where the No Way Home set would be. Really awesome set. Also managed to complete it as well. I did sell off Shriek, which made me a regret a little bit. And this is the What If series. So again, super awesome. And managed to complete this set as well. I just don't have the Captain America. And I don't really have this figure. I just managed to get the buff and the box, but no figure here. And then if we switch on to the 80th anniversary Hulk versus Wolverine, super cool figure. But uh, it's pretty cheap, I think, nowadays if you want to find one. Oh, okay. Yeah, so super cool figure. Going down, this is also super underrated set. This is where you got your demo goblin. And then some small Wolverine corner. Super awesome. And then just another small corner and we got some X-Men here as well. Okay, so this is basically my own room, which I collect. And these are the toys that would keep me sane at night, you know, helping me to sleep. So these ones are really cool figures and I got managed to get the Toys R Us figures as well. I mean, here in Malaysia we call it Toys R Us. I'm not sure how you call it in your own place. Uh, this one, I mean, I didn't get it from Toys R Us. I know it's a Toys R Us exclusive, but I managed to buy it from somebody else. This is the PS4 Spider-Man with the webs. This is from the MCU, the latest Neuer uh, toy as well, Tobey Maguire. On the Ultimate Spider-Man figure, which I would say the articulation on that is really, really awesome. We have this one. Also articulation on this uh, is really awesome as well. Very, very articulable. Then we have the underrated one. One of my best series I read from Spider-Man. Uh, this is with the superior Spider-Man. Sorry that my face is all up in you. And basically, these are the stuff that, you know, just next to my bed right here. Okay, and this is the main attraction, you know, this is the chick magnet over here. And these are my main figures. And again, these are just the loose figures that I do have. So basically, I managed to find some good deals on it. I got some extra, which I really do like. So I kind of kept it here. Except for like, maybe stuff like for this, the Spider-Woman and Spider-Girl, which I couldn't find one with the box. Might have managed to find one loose, so I can't put it anywhere else, right? So I just put it here with the rest. And then here we have some buff as well. The Smart Hulk, we have Ant-Man. We have uh, Brotor. I won't call it Fat Tor, I just call it Brotor. Brotor, and then we have Groot as well. And then, super awesome, we have the Watcher. 
really cool figure, especially because, you know, for me, I watched the whole uh, season of What If. Looks really awesome. And then one of my best figure here, Spider-Man from the Renew Your Vows. This looks really awesome. I think maybe my best uh, figure when it comes to Spider-Man. And then we have the Ragnarok Thor. We have one of my underrated features. This one is the Tobey Maguire. I sorry. We have the Andrew Garfield um, figure there from Toy Biz, from Hasbro. And then we have one more back there. And then we go on the side, we have Spider-Man Noe, the old one. Spider-Punk with his excellent posing here. And then we have the other stuff on the back as well. And the one that's lying down basically is another underrated figure. This is the Tobey Maguire, uh, the first ever movie. You know, I couldn't believe that I didn't get this back in the day. Nowadays, it just costs a ton of money on this. And if we go on to the bottom, this is where the buff, all the bad big guys, you know. And uh, we have Lizard there. I couldn't. Again, same with Sandman. Very hard to get the buff for Lizard. Very expensive. Even to find the whole buff by individually is very hard. So kind of gave up. And then I just bought this retro, which looks really awesome. We have the latest one here. We have, oops, you know, everything's just messing around in my house. So uh, we have here the Ultron from the latest one. Uh, I didn't buy the set. I just bought the, the buff. We have Juggernaut on the bottom. Very awesome figure to be able to stand on one uh, leg. We have Thanos, we have all these ones. The big bad boys and Monster Venom as well. Managed to get it for about 200 ringgit or so back in, uh, a few months ago. Uh, about 50 USD, which I think is not too bad. We have Domamu in the back. We have, again, Thanos. Really, really awesome set. So these are some of my stuff. And uh, these are the things that I haven't opened yet. These ones, because I really don't know where to put them, they're all very hard. So I managed to get the cell shaded uh, Amazing Spider Man. The whole set is over inside there Peter Parker, Green Goblin. And then also we have the, uh, the tree pack here, which I think in recent weeks has gone down in price, seeing that the Cyclops has come in. So basically, these are just all my figures that I collect, and slowly I will review them again one by one for you guys. So that we can have a nice, you know, chit chat. I just like to hear from you guys what you always feel about this figure. Sometimes, you know, it looks cool. Uh, sometimes, you know, it brings a lot of memories to me. But sometimes for you guys, you may not even bother about it. So that's it. So yes, as my first video, do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below to see more of my videos in the future. Peace out.